is a physicist like me, um, working with uh, essentially um, polychromatic glass to make her sculptures. And so we took one of our original art pieces and our 3D designers brought it into augmented reality and animated it so that it could really release the butterfly, which in her original structure, of course, was a static piece. So what you saw here is like when you um, put your finger out, there would be a light bulb at or a light ball or an energy ball at the tip of your fingers, being like kind of a symbolic um, representation of our influence on the space. And the interesting thing of that was that. Uh, in AR, it was essentially a torch. You lifted your finger, and everything, you know, the closer it was, the brighter it got by your own bioluminescent energy. Um, and uh, it's also a metaphor for us about that every, every room you enter is really the co-creation of everybody who was there before you. I mean, you always get the synergy of every contribution that was here through all, throughout all time. And as we leave this room, we're going to leave it different. The papers on the tables and chairs different than everybody else. So there was a using the participants' energy to activate the art pieces, to get them into a different stage, to change their lighting, and to just point towards ourselves as creative beings. And so it was people who were playing with light. You have seen at one moment there was three dancing glass sculptures. Those were actually original pieces from Schuster and Mosley, who are famous glass, uh, like real physical glass artists. I need to go faster. Okay. Well, um, we have one more person. I'll just wrap it. was a breath activated uh, LED screen where we track the breath of participants to make the screen breathe with them. And there were ecosystems that you can play in. This one was water-based. Um, optical illusions to give you a different perspective on things. And a number of Yeah, a number of biofeedback stations. So with that, I'm going to stop here. Thank you, everyone.